How may I help you? Good morning, Nancy. This is Solange Martinez. I uh, have a question regarding uh, the doctors of uh, your plan, Emblem Health. Okay. Could I begin with your ID number, please? Sure. Um, a as in Apple, E as in Edward, U as in under, 16026R01. I'm sorry, 16026. 26, uh, R as in Raymond, 01. Thank you. So, ma'am, your plan is um, Emblem Health HIP, so I need to connect you with our HIP customer service. Oh, okay, okay. thank you. Hi, this is Professor Solange Martinez. Um, I have a question regarding the physicians that uh, your plan has. Sure, I can assist you with your question, Ms. Martinez. Can I have your member ID number, please? Sure. ID number A as in Apple, A E as in Edward, U as in under, 16026R as in Raymond. Zero one. Thank you. May I have your date of birth and home address, please? Zero five zero one one nine seven one thirty four Highland Avenue, apartment two D as in David, Yonkers, New York, one oh seven oh five. Thank you. And how can I help you? Uh, I looked up uh, your physicians, uh, and I see that you don't have any physicians who are board certified. Okay, what kind of physician are you referring to, primary care or specialist? Um, primary care, general medicine, or family medicine. Okay, one moment, please. Uh, oh yes, because I um, looked up uh, your um, providers, and when I put when I entered my zip code 10705, and uh, I looked for board certified, I didn't find anything. Anything. The um, search said no board certified physician. When you do your search, do you put in your member and ID number in it, and when you when you do the search? Yes, like for example, I'm looking at the screen right now, and I say um, search for a physician, and then uh, it tells me enter your zip code. So my zip code is 10705, so I enter the, the zip code and I enter the board certified. I checked uh, board certified, and then when I click search, it doesn't give it to Within me. Your provider, what, type of, what kind of plan you have? Is it a Medicaid plan? HIP, Medicaid plan, yes. Because I'm searching in the plan and I see it, 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 you know, it comes up, it's board, it's board certified. Is, do you have a doctor in mind that you want me to check to see if board certified? No, I'm just doing some research, but um, since I don't find any board certified, that's why I called because it says find a doctor. So I click on find a doctor on your website. And then uh, it said um, to enter the zip code and everything else. Uh, and when I ser say search, it doesn't give me a board certified um, physician. Hold on, let me check what, how you put on online because in my system, and when I bring it up, I could, you know, I I can able to bring up the board the one who is board certified. Okay. Hold on one moment, please. Can you kindly hold on for one moment? Sure. Yes. Thank you for patiently holding. Okay, when you go to um, to online, when you put in the zip code and you search, at the bottom when you put in internal medicine? Yes. Are you, uh, are you online now? Yes, and I see a bunch of physicians, but they don't say if they are board certified or not. So what I did okay. was I went to uh, personal information, and then it says select a new primary care physician. And down there, they give you choices. So you enter your zip code, 
uh, for them to give you the list of uh, board certified positions, but it says no board certified positions. No, no, this is what you do. When you go into, when you go to search for providers now, right? When you put in um, search a doctor, you click on the doctor, then it gives you your your address will populate, then it will say specialty. You, in, you click on internal medicine. Uh huh. Then you click on internal medicine. Then on the bottom of it, it will say advanced option with a question mark. Uh huh. So you click on advanced option. And when you click on it, it will tell you now which, if you want a gender, you want a language, hospital affiliation, and then you say board certification, wheelchair accessible, or homeless shelter. Then you will click board certification, and it will bring up all the provider who is board certified. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, okay. so. Uh, if I say um, uh, language, no present, hospital affiliation, no it says board certified. So if I click on board certified and I click search, it should give me the uh, list, you say, right? The board certification provider, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but on the list, it just tells me their name, address, uh, and specialty area, and uh, the hospitals, and if they speak Spanish or not. But they don't say next to the doctor's name if they're board certified or not. No, but remember, you click only for option for board certification. So only who is board certified wants to click that option. If you do not click the option, it will bring up who is board certified or who is not board certified. Okay. Yes, I, I, I'm aware of that. I understand. Uh, how do I uh, double check if, they, if these people are board certified or not? Is there any website that I can check their credentials? Okay. That with Emblem Health, you probably want to Google search it. You probably want to Google the doctor's name. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so let me do that. Okay, thank you so much, honey. You're welcome. Is there anything else you want to say? No, sweetie pie. Thank you. You've been wonderful. You're welcome. Have a good day. Thanks for calling Emblem Health. Please remain in line for your base service. Thank you.